Welcome. Well, the Is This the Entertainment the Podcast? With your host, Benjamin M. Owens. At that Jacob there. Hi. We showed up. We know there are all kinds of new films and movies out. We haven't watched any of them. We didn't watch any of them. Yeah. Actually, that's not true. You've seen two of them. And I've seen yeah. none of them. And yeah. that's kind of on me. I've seen the Venom. Mm-hmm. And I've seen the Bond. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. Let me be real with y'all. Jacob wants to talk about James Bond movie so bad. And I haven't seen it. And I'm trying to stay as like spoiler free as possible. Like once I see this movie, we will have a full like, like, you know, Today's podcast, who knows how long this could be? Is it going to be 20 minutes? Is it going to be 40 minutes? Who knows? But when we talk Bond, I think we're going to end up with like one of them three hour, you know. We might. Part one, part two, part three kind of podcasts because I have a lot of thoughts on the Bond and you seem to be very engaged by this, this, this uh, most recent movie. So I'm very well, those of you curious. Who know, know. They know, for the people who know, know. You know what I mean? And, no, I and, don't, uh, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know until it's. Yeah, I pro- we probably can't even talk about it on the podcast. That's how. Ooh, it's one of those. So, yeah, and then we got Dune coming out as well tonight. Should be Six PM. Yeah. Dune should be out, and you know we'll watch that eventually too. Yeah, I'll probably watch that one soon. Yeah, that one's easier. I can just stay home. The other right. two, I have to like go to a place. Right. I have to plan ahead. Right. I have to do it on somebody else's schedule. I got to do it on somebody right. else's schedule. Somebody else has to hit play. Dude, I can hit play myself. And that's yeah. why I am in favor of all movies going direct streaming, even if I got to pay a little extra. I'm kind of digging the streaming model because, like, as we covered in the last episode, there were some issues with theater participants acting up and right. being a little wild. Yeah. Look, get off my lawn. These teenagers, I just, oh, come on. Can also, also grown men, the movie. A grown men drinking massive amounts of alcohol with, with only being one seat away. Not, yeah. not even social distancing, just one seat right next to me. Reeking. Boozing. Reeking. Yeah. I don't mind a little smell of a little something, but uh, mm-hmm. that was brutal. I was intoxicated. That, that second hand. Yeah, that second, second hand. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so welcome to the show today. We're actually going to go back. Going back in time. To, uh, <laughs> Black Widow. Jacob finally saw it. Now that it is free on the Disney Plus, as opposed to the well, pay for it's Disney Plus. not free then, because yeah. I have to pay for Disney Plus. Right. It's not double charged Disney Plus. Yeah, I just did not want to go pay to go see this film I, for whatever reason. And I may have been right. I don't know listen to the end to find out well so let's let's just jump in with your with your first thought was this a good movie this was a good movie i think for 2018 mm-hmm. you know what I mean? right if this film had come out before end game it would have made so much sense yep and really had made end game have even more like emotional pull right i completely See, agree completely agree. seeing this now was like okay well why didn't I, why wasn't this here before? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was exactly in the timeline where it needed to be, but it just came out three years later or whatever. Right. You know? It's like, look, I, I'm, you, this movie is trying to make me emotionally invested. I know she's going to live through this. So that's one part. But two, I know that this story can't go anywhere unless it's going through other people. You know, I mean, I guess they could, you know, conceivably put three movies or something they could you know let's say they did you know black widow one and then did black widow two you know after infinity war but before endgame black widow three before endgame they could potentially do that Mm -hmm. but why would they want to like why would you want to i mean it's you know yeah, it's um, kind of the prequel argument. Like nobody asked for those movies. You know what I mean? Like we right. were all. Everyone is still waiting for episode seven. You know what I mean? Right. Like, what? <laughs> what? We why? Want, what? Yeah. What? What happens five years after Jedi? Which you know, I guess maybe we're gonna get. You know, we're getting that in Mandalorian. We're just yeah, it's it coming from like a side, side tangent. Star Wars side tangent. 
Right. We don't have a we don't have a musical cue for that, but yeah. Star Wars side tangent. Just drop that in there, and then you can you can pull that audio and put some. Sure. Yeah. Some, oh yeah. I'm gonna do all that work. Yeah. Pull some beep. Really... Pull some beep boops in between. And yeah. Then, uh, and a woosh sound. And a woosh sound. And no. We don't. I guess we don't say that one enough to warrant. <laughs> yeah, we do have we do have a book of Boba Fett that's coming out. Yep. Twenty second. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Something like we got that. Mandalorian season three is actively filming. It's filming. You yeah. got Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Obi Wan is coming out, and we got uh, something else that we nobody asked for. Let's see the other one. Oh, Andor. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Another. Why are you making? We know what happens to this guy. Yep. But there, it's like there's not going to be any stakes, mm -hmm. and this is a great uh, chance to transition back into <laughs> Black Widow. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, why? Well, why? We 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 know she's going to be fine. There's no she's stakes dead. involved. Yep. And we know where she has to end up. Like she even like even the end of the film, like she could have left with them, but since we know she has to get caught, she just stays because of the plot. Like that's what it literally felt like. That like, uh, well, I guess I'll stay because I know later I have to get caught to right. be in to be in in game. You know? Yeah. What? Well, not to be in Infinity War, so she's got to, she's got to... Yeah, Infinity War in general, yeah. Yeah, she's got to go help Steve break everybody out of the... Yeah, why don't they just yeah. um, go and then make up... They could have made up some reason she got caught later, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that was just... I'll just... I guess I'll just stay here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I got I all the other time. Finished business. I always run every time, except, I don't know. I'm just not going to go now. I don't want to put, I, I mean, it kind of makes sense. You don't want to put your sister and your dad in danger. Right. But I feel like they're going to chase them also anyway. Yeah. So <sighs> this movie does set up Florence Pugh. And her character's name is what exactly? Google? White Widow? Uh, that, that can't be real. Cue the music. Stuff. Is Scarlett Johansson? She's not sure, right? But her sister, the what is her name? Florence. Yo, Flor Florence Pugh Flo. is is the is the act actress. Uh, actress. Does she go name. by Flo? That's what I want to know. Doubtful. I don't know. Yelena Belova slash Black Widow. Okay, so she is also She's Red also Red Red Guardian. That's what David Harbour's name is. Mm-hmm. Red Guardian. Yeah, I really enjoyed his character, especially the character building from the beginning. Like that was so oh, funny. Yeah. Like yeah, so much fun. Like where he starts and where he ends up. And then you and wonder, then both like, the like Captain America references. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Yeah, and he wanted to be Captain America. You know, like, dude, Captain right. America talk about me. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So there were moments that were great, and I could see bringing his character back in something. You know, definitely. And Yelena Belova. Yeah, she seems very short. At the, I don't. This has nothing to do with anything. But yeah, just you know, she just seems like a not tall person. Let's check. Uh, it. How tall is Yelena Belova? Okay, this is uh, five foot four. Yeah. Okay. Well, not that short. Scarlett Johansson. I mean, this guy is a giant next to her, so it's right. Just, David Gay yeah. Harper is crazy tall. Okay, so she is a handsome. five three. Yeah, Scarlett's shorter than Florence Pugh. So she's standing on a box right here. No, no, like I think that's just like the way. Like, no, the, they're on they're on uneven ground there. Oh yeah, but she, in every shot, Scarlett was taller than her. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. that's this is a uh, yeah. Tom Tom Cruise situation. Gotcha. Yeah. Weird man, you see that Tom Cruise at the at the baseball game picture where he looks like Norm McDonald? No, but I heard about that. Mm. Let me look it up. Yeah, you got some. He got some Botox or you know face filler uh, or he's something. Puppy. Yeah, he's a little Tom puff. Cruise. What is the name of? Just put, just put Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. I can't spell anything. In images. Oh, I'm clicking. I mean, one, he's smiling. Is there another image of him? Just to the left, up, up one. 
Yeah. What? What is happening right here? These are not the same people. You see what I mean? Tom Cruise is 59 years old. I know, but look at the guy in this photo and look at the guy here. Aren't they the same, like, year or whatever? Oh, gosh, I have no idea. Is this, could this be a lookalike? No, because on his, like, social media, him and his son, like, tweeted out some stuff. And this looks like two different people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on? What did they tweet? Maybe he had a bunch of salt. You know, he got a little bloat. He had too many hot dogs. It all went to his face. Not sure. Not sure. Maybe he. Maybe he's been doing the stunts on this maybe new. He ran out of. A... Oh man! Come on. Come. On. Oh, maybe he ran out of. Don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, don't do it. You know, uh, there's a. Yeah, I know. I know, a... what, I know what you're referring to. There's. And... Let's well, there's an on. international shortage of children, you know, like it's just less of them going around, you know, so, you know, he could have ran out of some, some fresh juice there, freshly squeezed. I'm not, I'm not engaging with this anymore. There has to be some truth to that, right? No, no. On some level. No, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Look, at uh, oh man, he just looks like a regular guy. Yeah. You know, my whole life, Tom Cruise was this guy on the left. Mm-hmm. You know, like super handsome, looks taller than he is. Mm-hmm. And now he's just this guy. You know what? I think here's the thing. Here's the thing. Out that this was Tom Cruise. I mean, that right there is from like the. I think that's that's a shot from in the stadium. Like the in in stadium camera crew caught him and like put his you know put him up on the big screen. Uh, so do you think just everything about him is fake? Like. Just they just digitally altered his face in films he's in. No, I'm just looking at this. No, I think part of it, you know, he's filming these Mission Impossible movies. Who knows what kind of like ster- steroid regimen he's got going on? And steroids can make you puffy sometimes, or it could be, you know, some sort of face filler injection or some sort of Botox. Yeah, maybe he just know. got it. Yeah, yeah, and it just like takes him in. But Norm, but we know in retrospect that Norm had some cancer. Right, right. Yeah, so, so no one had some stuff on, going on. Right. He he was on all kind of medication. Is that what we're saying here? Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe he took a tumble doing one of these stunts and they had to put him on some stuff and then he got a little puff. I don't know. I'm just saying there's, there could be any number of explanations, but I, I don't think this is what he normally looks like on any given day. Or maybe he, you know, just had a bunch of ball game beers. And that was a little read what that says for our for our uh our audio listeners. I can't I I can't even say it. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this is not true, but it does sound like something. Yeah, no, it it, it does it, sound like something Norm would say. Norm McDonald. This is yeah, a yeah. quote unquote Norm McDonald quote One day I'll die, but I refuse to move on. In fact, I'm going to use my spooky ghost powers to possess the body of Hollywood powerhouse Tom Cruise. I didn't do it in my norm voice. That's fantastic. How does he talk? One day I'll die, but I but I refuse to move on. You got to. I'm going to say no. Spooky walk, ghost powers. Yeah, you got you got to do it with like a, a like a modified walk-in where there's extra punctuation and no punctuation at the same time. Right. It's and it's got this like speeding up, slowing down thing. Going yeah. On. I don't know. Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. Hey, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Norm. Yeah. Okay, and then, so speaking of Norm McDonald, in Black Widow. And, hey, uh, hold on one second. Somebody just dropped off a package, so I'll be sure. right Sure, you better go get a package. That's right. He lives in a dangerous neighborhood. So speaking of Norm McDonald and Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Getting puffy. Red Guardian also got that. <laughs> I thought it was kind of amazing how he looked so young and, and together at the beginning. Right. And then all of a sudden he's, you know, he's, le- he's let it let go a little bit. He's right. maybe uh, one too many, uh, one too many loaves of bread. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. I was trying to think of like a Russian food and I could not. Uh, too many pierogies. Pierogies. That, that's yeah. One too many oh. pierogies. See, for some reason, I was like gonna say that, but then I was like, "Is that more Polish, probably than Russian?" 
And then I was like, uh, what maybe stupid borscht. Like, borscht? Nobody knows. Too much borscht. But isn't borscht. that? It, I mean, that's isn't that like beets? I don't, I don't know what like, that is. Yeah. Too much wheat vodka. Imported wheat but wheat There vodka. it is. <laughs> borscht soup. Three medium Remember beets. When we, Remember when we used to make vodka from potatoes? Yes. Mm. We ran out of potatoes. So. Remember when vodka was potatoes? What no. happened? No, I don't. You really don't? No. Vodka don't. used to be potatoes. Was it? What's it now? Yeah. Wheat? Huh. How's it still vodka? That's what I want to know. Why isn't it wheatka? Wheatka. Are you implying that the V comes from potato or something? Like that the V in vodka? No. <laughs> Has something to do with the potato? What's what's the Russian word for potato? Potato. <laughs> potato. Definitely 100%. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. 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 It's okay. It's, it's okay to make fun of the rush. You sound like an 80s villain, and it's fantastic. <laughs> 80s Bond villain. That's right. Bam. It's always the thing. Russians. In every Bond movie, it's the Russians. No, that's not true. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's spread amongst the Nordic oh, right. region. Right. You know. Because you got to get those, like, you got to get that, like, skiing in the Swiss Alps. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get that yeah. chase scene on skis. It's gotta be, it's gotta be like, okay, we're gonna make a new Bond movie. Where do we want to go on vacation? Exactly. It's like you know, we gotta hit all the seasons. So we need a winter, winter, a summer, a spring, and a fall. We need all of them. Yeah, Black Widow, huh? Yeah, Black Widow. Black yeah. Widow. I I know I, I talked about this last time. We we touched on this movie. But I found the villain to be meh, you know? It's like, oh, I honestly, I wasn't even talking about her. I was talking about, oh, the, I oh, guess, the, drink oh, off. What? The Russian? Yeah, the Russian dude. Yeah, <laughs> the dude from The Departed, you know. Right. No, he, uh, he was very classic behind the scenes villain. Yeah. Wizard of, Wizard of Oz type beat, you know? Right. He was just like, oh, I do this. I could throw everything, you know. Yeah. Uh, whatever, have, yeah. Where's the accent? Where to go? Where to go? Vodka. <laughs> vodka. That's your that's your cornerstone. I can right throw there. It. <laughs> you, you have to start. You have to say vodka, vodka. one more time. I can throw and the then world. You can. Vodka. Yeah. I can throw the world from this sky castle. <laughs> Don't you want to come over? Come stay in my sky castle. We have free drinks all night. You guys want to listen to EDM? Boops, 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 boops. We have the EDM. We have the EDMs in the castles. In the castles. It's for the children. For the for, children. For the children. Then we make them assassins. Plus be sterile. We will take away everything that makes them who they are. Welcome to two guys doing bad Russian accents. <laughs> yeah. This is the whole rest of the show. The you, did you see? Did you see Rounders? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You remember yeah. John Malkovich? His, yeah. his Russian accent was so bad. Ah, uh, fantastic KGB. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What was this? What was that whole thing? Yeah. I'm paying you check. back with the check. <laughs> yeah, pay you back with your money. It's no big deal. Uh, yeah. yeah. This motherfucker. He beat me. His it's money. Pay him his money. He yeah, it was like, pay him his money. It's so bad. It's worth, it's almost as bad as ours, but not quite, not quite. But we didn't practice. We didn't rehearse. If we would have rehearsed, we could have nailed this. I think Maybe. we nailed it. Maybe. If we would have just listened to a little bit of the Russian accent, Look, we could have got it. We could have got there. A lot of but this says we sound like two assholes. <laughs> a lot of this show can be summed up as this would have been better if we would have tried a little. If, if we, we would have tried, prepared, if we prepared a little, this would be a lot better. This would be a great show. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening. I know we have a couple of new listeners and I know them s kind of personally and still thank you for listening. Hey, thanks new people. Also, uh, I need to put this at the top of the show or is what can I do? Don't forget to go to our right. Twitter page, type in the secret code and we will send you a link to the Metallica episode. 
no, no. This, <laughs> That's not people want to know. Like, I don't know why, but a couple of people ask me like, oh, how do you do a podcast? I don't know. I have this software, this software, and this software. And I'm like, well, we do it super fast because we use one, we use Melon app to do the streaming, which is what we're on now. I should do that as well. Yep, shout out Melon. That's, let me show you Melon app because that's that. So it's this. Oh, this is, oh, this is Meta right here. Uh, this is Melon app. So you get your Melon app and you can invite as many people as you want. It's like Zoom, but it records everything. And you know, it looks all fancy like this. And then we use Descript to edit and it's like super fast. You can edit in like 1.5 X or 2 X if you can understand what's going on and you only edit the text as you can see here from this video that's showing on the screen. You literally edit the video by via text and it's super fast. Even Ben can do it. Yes. When Jacob says, hey man, will you take a look at the podcast and see if it's good? I do not watch or listen to it. I just read it and then I go, yep, sounds good. No notes. Yes. So it translates your words to text and you edit the video via text so to make that clear that is what makes our video editing process so fast and our podcast editing process so you can export the video one click then after that's done export the audio one click that's done and uh that's how we do it so fast and yeah so if you want to start a podcast those are the two things that i would recommend getting and there'll be links in the description or on the website in the show notes so yeah and there you go shoot us a link to your new podcast whenever yeah. you're done making it Shoot us a link and we'll talk about it. Yeah, we might talk about your podcast. Yeah. If it's uh, kosher. If it's in any way appropriate. If it's, yeah. If it's if, icky. If it's slightly offensive, it's okay. But if it's more than that, don't. Yeah. Uh, all right. What, what, what else is going on? No, oh, we didn't mention the Taskmaster. I feel like we we talked about this a little bit. Yeah, Taskmaster. And another, spoiler alert. So. Draco's oh. daughter. Right. Right. As brought up by Loki. Uh -huh. In the Avengers movie. How brutal was that? That Black Widow just launched, went ahead and launched the nuke. That makes you think a lot less of Scarlett Johansson. Well, you know, I mean, like, that it's something that obviously, you know, she was, she had to reconcile with over the years. I think, I think a lot of that, like, you know, kind of like internal redemption arc that we see her trying to work on where she's like, I'm not worthy enough to be an Avenger. And then, you know, at the end, by end game, she's running the show while everybody else, you know, you know, Steve's off, you know, doing group meetings. And then, yeah, uh, cause yeah. in my mind, Black Widow is this character that uses her appearance to be a spy and get information. Right. Like, and none of that happened in this film. Okay. She does. The, she does the face thing you one time, right? Yeah, it's a face thing. That was gonna, face thing. Somebody did that. That, that could have just not been in there. I didn't need the face thing. Well, I feel like you know it gets used so rarely in the MCU. I mean, they haven't done it since since Winter Soldier. So bringing that back, bringing that face thing you back was kind of cool. It wouldn't have been that hard for them to make a plan without the face thingy, right? Right. And they've just, I'm sure, just done basically the same thing, but just been switched. But I mean, look, if you have the face thingy in your arsenal and you're like, we haven't used it in so long, we got to use the face thingy. Sure. Do it. You know? It's yeah. in the vocabulary. I, mean, I was just in the vocabulary it, already. Every time I see the fake face getting ripped off, I'm just like, ugh. You it, know, like it, my, it, it turns my brain off. Like, I'm just like, I come out of the movie. And go okay could this ever happen probably not this is so stupid and plus her body is different than the other person's body how mm -hmm. would we not notice you know i think about these things and then i go okay whatever and then i look back at the movie but it takes me literally all of that all of that happens mm -hmm. in real time every time i see the face thing well uh, like, uh, how do they not I, know I, don't go back and watch the same why don't go back and way? watch the mission impossible movies because no no that's the, they use they abuse that thing yeah 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 it's like a, yeah it's like pie may with a goatee but it's a face yeah <laughs> what a reference to pull out <laughs> love it <laughs> love it for all of you guys on the audio we're doing a lot of sweeping hand gestures right now for fake beards that we do not have you have a beard. You have a, you got yes, quite a nice beard going. You know. No, no right. pie may. No, no, of course. I would take so long. It would take so long. Uh, yeah. So 
Yeah, this movie should have came out obviously four years ago and it yeah. would have been great. Look, I mean, you're right. This movie should have happened before Endgame. It 100% should have happened before Endgame. Yeah. And uh, it's it's a shame. It's a shame because it's a character that, you know, we know and love and we've already grieved for in Endgame. Like, we already knew yeah. that. It we feels weird that. seeing her again, honestly. Like, yeah. I was like, wait, she's dead. This is weird. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, how are they going to make her look younger? You know, like, all these things go right. on in my brain. You know? Yeah. Like, and this Taskmaster character, I, I, I guess it worked. In in the context of the show, it worked because, hey, I mean, obviously, the, we talked about this before. The guy is a guy doing the stunts. And the oh, right, 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 right. Right? Yeah. But she's, like, supposedly some kind of robot thing, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? I don't really know. But it felt like they were trying to say, she's basically a robot. Here's her head. Why are we, in general, as a society, always giving the female characters bow and arrows? Is it a Katniss thing? Is it just like, it worked for Katniss, so let's, like, you know, we've got this going on. We've got Echo. Echo, that's her name? In mm-hmm. Bad Batch, they give her the, like, Force bow and arrow, right, right. you know. I just feel like it's a bit much. You're giving the female character a male symbol, you know, essentially with an arrow. I mean, why are we saying all projectile weapons are male weapons? I mean, look at this here in this image that is on the screen right now. Right, this is clearly mm-hmm. a male esque arrow. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. It's it's yeah. phallic. Why, why? It's it's phallic in nature. Yeah, we should go with something more. Why can't we have? <laughs> no, but I, you know, what what would be a feminine weapon? Weapon. I mean, I, I'm gonna have to three. Awesome. I'm gonna have to think on this. I feel like maybe all weapons might be masculine, but that's probably that's what I'm saying. Probably like, are, are, are saying that. Are, are, yeah. Are, yeah, like are, like yeah. if if we're if we're talking about like yeah, are all projectile weapons? Yes. Yeah. Twenty years ago, women phallic in nature. Tree. We're, we're more nurturing than men on, in general. I don't know what about today, you know, but you know, that was, that was an aspect of femininity. So what in weapon is nurturing a whip, probably a whip. Mm, interesting. I mean, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. I'm Ooh, speaking of whips, let's bring it around to this new Batman trailer. You watched yeah. that? Oh, you- yes. Yes, and thank you. Yes. 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 Batman. Let me find a Batman trailer. Batman trailer. Mm -hmm. As hype as I was for this Batman trailer, more hyped for the Flash trailer. Oh, I didn't see the new Flash trailer. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Let me tell you. Michael Keaton does the voiceover. No. For the trailer. It's so... Why is everything a low-quality image? You know... Because because the trailers, you know, always like it, it, the brightness on the trailer is set at you know ten percent. Right. You got the contrast all the way up and the brightness like, all the way if, down. If your TV isn't if your TV isn't like calibrated right, you will not see this movie. You can't even see the trailer. Right. It's just yeah. There was so you know you can <laughs> see his teeth. Yeah. There's a there's a section in the Dark Knight where the cops go to tell Gordon's wife that he got shot and Batman is sitting on a fire escape and the way like my TV was calibrated and with like my Blu-ray player, I, my, my the TV that I was watching it on was like, was still seven, 720, whatever. It would get to that scene and it, they would cut to Batman on the fire escape and I would just see black and maybe two eyes. And that was it. And I'd be like, I think Batman's there. I don't know. Can't tell. Probably. Because my TV my TV yeah. is not calibrated right. And this yeah. movie is a little dark right now. Calibrate your TVs, people. Yeah. Calibrate them. Find yeah. the right, find the right and thing. Get them sending things right. Turn on night mode as well. When you're yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I was surprisingly impressed by this trailer. Like, I yeah. thought I was going to hate this film. And, like, everything looks perfect. You know what I mean? Like, this movie needs to be like three hours long. It has it. to be. You've got all oh. the villains. Every single villain. Oh, it's no, like, oh, it's just three. Poison Ivy. Oh, is she in this too? You saw the girl with the red hair. That's How can that not be Poison Ivy? Missed it. Totally missed it. Okay. Red hair girl. Not Poison Ivy. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. But you got Penguin. Maybe. You yep. got the Riddler. Yep. And you got 
Catwoman. Wait, Catwoman. Yep. And maybe a reference, a Joker reference or two. Man, who knows? Yeah. Some somebody posted like, "Hey, who do you want to be the Joker in this one?" And a lot of people were like, "Just don't." Just like, right? Let it just like let it breathe for a while. Yeah. We already had like a break. We got this Joaquin Phoenix shit going. We just had two. Yeah. Like we, you know, Jared Leto's still out there, kind of. Who knows? Yeah, he might. Let's just oh, let's, I heard. Let's just let I heard they're like really trying to get that the Snyderverse going back up. <sighs> I mean, Discovery Plus deal or whatever. Who knows, man? Ben Ben Hufflick is is in the Flash too. What? I know, right? I know, right? Okay, so I just watched the Flash trailer. Woo! What? This looks like a Batman film. It looks like the Flash is gone to find Batman. Pretty much. Like, I need Batman to help me. <clears throat> yeah. Even though I'm all powerful and have a glowing suit now, yeah. I can travel through time <clears throat> and do anything I want, but I need Batman's help because. Well, here's the thing Flash, Flash isn't a thinker, thing. but. Affleck. He needs the world's greatest detective. Wow. In uh, Michael Keaton Batman. This makes me really happy. We're going to see Michael Keaton again. That's We're going to see Michael Keaton and Batfleck in the same movie. And we get to see more Batfleck. And Bat because Fleck. I really enjoyed Ben Affleck. He was well. fine. He was a perfectly capable Batman. Yeah. This is going to be great. Yeah. This makes me not want to watch the Batman. See, no, I still want to see this. No, I mean, this I, is going to be different. What if the Batman is just the same Batman but a younger? You know what I mean? What if they just do that? Right, they're just like well, Robert Pattinson is Ben Affleck younger. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does, Does that, that work? work? Does that work for you? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> they can pull it off. Yeah, I think they can pull it off. Um. Yeah. Wow. And then there's there are rumors that Discovery is trying to get more Snyderverse going. So like, okay, I'll take just it. Br just bring it. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch all it. the Batman's. Yeah. Yeah. The Batman's. Dude, bring Val Kilmer back. Call up Clooney. I don't care. Val Kilmer. Give me a different Batman movie every month and I'm in. I'm totally in. You know why? Why not? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. This. I'm going to watch all this. And uh, it'll be great. Uh, or it'll be terrible. Or it'll be terrible. Look, yeah. Justice League was four hours long. We both watched that. I thought about pulling it up the other night. It's like, yeah, I got four hours. Why not? Why not? Why not? What else are you going to do? Go inside and meditate and think about yourself and the things you want in life, or just watch the Justice League. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up going for a walk and then putting on a couple of records and maybe playing some video games. Oh, and I made dinner. But still, I could have used that four hours to watch Justice League. What? What video <laughs> games are you playing? What video games do I play? Mainly MLB The Show. So it's sports on sports, video. sports on video games. Yes. There's a lot. It's basically just like, it's all about timing. That's it. Just timing. It is all about timing. So, and I seem to have it all backwards right now. It feels like. It feels like everything is backwards. But a uh, couple more months, and uh, you're going to be seeing some interesting shots here in a oh, couple man. months. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. yeah. You're going to see some some all over the world shots. Actually, could, you, ready for that. could you like take a like step out, take a screenshot, and then when you get to Thailand, force this in as your background right right yeah i need this blue wall and and the window yeah and the yeah, bed definitely yeah, that's a good idea actually yeah i'll just yeah. make so that nobody knows i'm in thailand that's yeah. right that's smart yeah oh he's still in that bedroom god no bad for these guys can't drag him yeah we ought to yeah we ought to send him more money hey <laughs> hit that cash app Hashtag chromatic, the number one. Yeah, we're taking donations, or at least I am. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Somebody sent some money, and uh, somebody else wants to, wants to send some money. Uh, I'll love it. it. You know, yeah. we got, keep uh, this website afloat. We've got the Descript, we've got the website, and we've got the melon, and they're they're not expensive, but they're every month. So you know, make sure you try those out too. By the way, and I think it's going to be a podcast next week. Think we'll either do Dune, and we're really? sure. One of Definitely. those two. One of those two. Eventually, we'll get around. Eventually, speaking English, we'll get around. Speaking the speaking the English. I can't speaking do it. English. I have to say, why do I have to say vodka first? Yeah. Vodka. There it is. Da. Now you can go. Yes. Well, it's the thing I'm finding difficult is not going from 
generic Russian to Wado in. And then, my boy, maybe you could help me out. Because some dead beats will miss money. Yeah. <laughs> no more Star Wars side. That's right. Okay, it's <laughs> over. It's over. Why are you still listening? Bye. <laughs> Goodbye today on the podcast. Goodbye. Yes. Makes you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. And on that note, also bye. Be it a for real this time? How do you say bye in Russian? I tried. We've already established this. You put a V in front of it. <laughs> Switch the first letter. Switch the first letter to a V in all words. That's all right. If we weren't if we weren't canceled before, we're canceled now. Well, thank you very much for listening. I don't think the Russian government's gonna enjoy this one at all. Yeah. No. It's great. Well, they don't. It's a good thing they don't listen. No one listens anyway. So. There, there, there goes my vacation to St. Petersburg. Yeah, you might have to cancel your flight. And on that note, no, thank you, Ben. And thank you, Jacob. Bye. Stop this thing. Stop recording. Stop.